morning, YouTube. Good Friday morning, YouTube. Sean Ponder the second. Coming to you from Missouri. On my way to work. This is home to work vibes. Today. Hopefully, it's Friday, or as the people call it, TGIF. And TGIF means, thank goodness, that it's Friday. Which, I am very happy that it is Friday. Because anyone that knows me knows that my favorite day is Friday. And the reason why my favorite day is Friday is because when I was a young, young boy or a young man that used to be my favorite day I would go to school do everything that I had to do Monday through Thursday and then Friday I would sit back relax with a can of soda and just chill as always you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Tony Gumbo 21. Also, like, share, subscribe, and comment to me here on YouTube. Shelton Ponder. Now, the topic of the day is going to be. Where would your ultimate favorite place to live be? Where would your ultimate... Well, let, let's uh, let's say that for this afternoon. Let's say that for this afternoon. Change plans. Yeah. Change of plans, people. All right. Today's topic is going to be... Build a house or own a house that's already built. Um, sorry, build a house or buy a house that's already built. Now, a lot of people, a lot of individuals would say, well, you know, I, uh, I, I want my house to be already built okay you want your house to be already built now why do you want your house to be already built oh uh, because I don't want to have to deal with the with the uh, with the hassles of hiring a contractor hiring this hiring that helping to build my house Okay. My question to them is why would you want to let's say that if there was a part of the house that you didn't want you would have to speak because the homeowners the homeowners association or you know whoever Whoever, uh, you have to you have to jump through some major hoops to get it done. You really do, and it doesn't make sense to me that you're going to. It it, it does not make sense to me that you're going to. Okay, all right. Sorry, I thought I forgot something. No, it does not make sense to me that you're going to buy a house that's already built and, you know, you really can't do anything to it. Can't do anything to it that you want. 
Because in certain contracts, I believe that in certain contracts, you need to get I believe in certain contracts, you need to get permission to do that. Now, let's say that you were, let's say that you were, uh, let's see. Let's say that you had, I don't know, I don't know. I, I need some help here. I need some help here because it, uh, I really need some help. Um, let's say that you didn't like a part of the house. I'm not sure if the contract has, you can't do this, everything has to be the same. Because, But what I'm getting at is, let's say that you didn't like a part of your house. Let's say that the part of your house was, ugh, was gross, disgusting, and you really wanted to do something about it. Well, you would have to speak with, I think, the Homeowners Association and the Realtor to see exactly what you can do. Sorry about that, people. God pulled his brick. God pulled his brakes quick. Uh, you know, like I said, I can't stand when people do that. Just give enough space for you and the person ahead of you. That's all I have to say. Anyway, um, you have to speak to the homeowners association, and then you would have to speak to uh, the uh, realtor because the realtor is who you dealt with. Now, in all honesty. Economically speaking, for me, I would have my house built. And the reason why I would have my house built is if I need, if, 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 if me and the, uh, the, uh, shoot, what is his name? Developer. If me and the developer were to come up with an idea and before he starts, I say, well, you know what? Eh, let's not do that. Let's do this. Let's do so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so. Then we could do that. But if it's already built, then you really don't have a choice. You don't have a choice on what you want to build and what you don't want to build. What you want to have in your house and what you don't want to have in your house. Rather than getting it from, uh, having a house built from the ground up, that way you can say, okay, you can say, all right, what do I like and what don't I like? Well, I like this and I like this, but I don't like that. He can come up with a new rendering that way That way you can say, okay, all right, I like that, I like that. But see, with a house already built, you have to speak to a whole bunch of different people and have to go through a whole bunch of different hoops to just at least try and scratch the surface to get a house built. I mean, it's not easy. It is not easy. But, but as I said, if you, if you get a piece of land and you go ahead and say, well, you know what, I want to have a house built, then you, you decide what you want to put in there and what you don't want to put in there. You can decide if you want to have, and, and it all depends on what type of land you have. If you have, a big, if you have a big piece of land, guess what? You can do whatever you want. But when it's, when you have a house built, you can do whatever you want. It is solely up to you on what you want to do. Then, if someone else comes in, then, you know, they can make the adjustments that they want to. But see, the thing about it is, if you want to remodel the house, and I've seen these houses, 
I've seen these houses on HGTV or DIY Network or all these do-it-yourself programs that it, it costs money to do that. And people are on a certain budget. Now, when people are on a certain budget, it causes them to change course sometimes. You know, they might like this, but then it's over budget. And they might like that, and they might not want what, what is on the budget. Because people are so particular when it comes to houses. Just like they're so particular when it comes to vehicles, or so particular when it comes to clothes, or so particular when it comes to food. People are so particular, and me, I'm just like, whatever, just do what you gotta do. You know, I'm not particular when it comes to any of that. I'm just like, you know what, and, and, and in my best opinion, all I want when I buy, when I get a house, is for it to have a garage, a big enough backyard, at least two to three bedrooms, and a man cave. That's four things that I want. Four things that I want. Four. If I can have that, hey, I'm all straight. I'm straight. I don't need anything else. But people want, you know, a certain, you know, they want, you know, they, they just ask for too much, and I don't know. I just I just feel like, you know, when you, you're asking for too much. You're wanting too much. You're wanting too much. It's, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. It's not. It's not necessary. It isn't. But people want that. People want that kind of option. You know, it's just like with buying a car. You have the option of picking and choosing what you want. Oh, I want XM, XM in my car. Oh, I want navigation. You know what? And I'm going to do a tour of my car soon. My car doesn't have na navigation. And that's fine. I'm cool with it. You know, all, you know, it has what I really want. That's XM. It has a backup camera. And it has a spot where I can listen to my music. Mostly all these new cars have have Bluetooth in them. But it, it's it's not necessary for you to be so particular with your house that you're willing to pay almost a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars to just get you know, and then they have these these shows called Flip It or you know, they my 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 aunt slash grandma watches these shows day in and day out and I'm like, wow. But hey, you know, whatever floats their boat. I'm just you know what? I me personally, I'm just a I'm just a guy that doesn't care. I don't care how my house looks. It can look ugly as heck on the outside. You know, and, and another thing, I'm not trying to win a popularity contest. In, if I were to own a house, I'm not, I'm not trying to be Mr. Popular on the block, no. You know, so many people, I, I, I've been through neighborhoods where so many people are just so... I don't know. So many people are so... And, okay, I understand that keeping your house looking nice is good on the outside. But so many people are so particular. It's like, okay, you're... Okay. You are getting mulch. Okay. 
I get that. I get that. But I don't know. It's it, it baffles me the fact that people want to outdo each other. Oh, oh, let me oh. Let me tell you the two holidays that piss me off the most. That's Halloween and Christmas. Halloween and Christmas really piss me off because if if I'm on the block, I'm not going to decorate my entire house. I'm just going to put up... I'll, listen, the tradition in my household was that we put up a Christmas tree every Christmas. We don't overdo it. See, there are... Fa- you know, I have... And once again, I have been through neighborhoods that really outdo themselves when it comes to Christmas and uh, Halloween and Christmas. You know, they'll happen to have a huge display, a huge display of Halloween decorations and Christmas decorations. Now, I can understand, okay, it's Halloween and it's Christmas. It's the two, one of the two holidays in, in three months. But I, Oof. Sorry about that. Everybody started. Everybody started uh, crowding up. Anyway. Sorry about that, people. Everybody started crowding up on the highway. Uh, like I said, everybody just overdoes it on Halloween and Christmas. Do you really have to put up so many decorations that causes people to get a headache gosh I hope not I hope not but people do that and why do people do that because they want attention me personally I am not an attention getter if you like if, listen when I own the house I'm not going to do all that that's just doing too much you're doing too much why are you trying to become the most popular person on? And, <coughs> and I have been through communities where people are so stuck up about the house. Oh, yeah, you know, I have the most beautiful house on the block. So what? I don't care. I do not care. I am a carefree person. I do not care. Heck, you can have the... You, you, I, listen, I am not... When I own a house, I am not trying to be on any... Pop, I'm not trying to win any popularity contest. I'm just trying to keep my house looking nice on the outside. And that's it. As well as keep my house looking nice on the inside. That's it. Excuse me, that's it. I'm not trying to... That right there is doing too much. I will say it again. That right there is doing way too much. And I'm not trying to do all that. I'm not trying to be Mr. Popular. I like being Mr. Low-key, stay, stay in your lane type of person. That, that's, that's all I am. I'm not trying to be, listen, If I, when I own a house, I'm not trying to be anything that I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to be Mr. You know, oh, I'm Mr. Big Shot on the block. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm not trying to do that. I wasn't. I wasn't raised like that. I was raised to be humble. I was raised to appreciate where I am. And I was raised to I was raised to be appreciative. I'm not... One thing that everybody does that is aggravating to me, that most people do, is they try and be snobbish. They try... They, they, they As I said, they do too much. People do 
too much. No, I take that back. People do way too much. People do way too much. And it's not necessary. That's what draws me away from people who do too much. It, it, it's not necessary. It is not necessary. Like I said, I'm not trying to be Mr. Popular on the block. I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to do that. That's who I am not. I am not that. I am many things. But I am not that. So, if, you, if that's what you're looking for, tch, I don't know what to tell you except... I'm sorry. <clears throat> I am my own person, though. I run my own lane, and I stay in my own lane, and I run my own race. If you don't like it, there's the door. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to change who I am for anybody. And that's a fact. All this traffic backing up. Oh, I can't stand it. There's always that one slow person that backs everything up. Anyway, um, like I said, people, I'm not trying to be anything that I'm not. I'm not. If I when I own a house, I am not trying to be Mr. Popular. I'm just trying to keep my house maintain nice. That's all I'm trying to do. If you don't like it, there's the door. There's the door. I mean, like, like, dislike, heck. You know what? It does not matter to me how you feel about uh, uh, me as a whole me being a potential homeowner owning a house first of all I never asked for your opinion that's first let's get that out the way second of all why are you so worried and this is going to be another topic I might factor this topic in today you know what I might factor that topic in and do the where would you like to live on Monday I'm not sure but my main thing is why are you concerned about when I own a house what I'm doing to it anyway we'll talk about that later on today um, I'm not trying to be Mr. Popular I would have a house built from the ground up that's how I would do it and like I said, the reason why is because if I don't like anything, I can just say, hey, you know what? I don't like this. Let's change it up a little bit. Boom. There you go. There you go. That's it. That's all. That is it. That is all. Wow. Um, so, not so, but today... This afternoon's topic, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna store that in my little side pocket here because a lot of people are gonna need to hear this. A lot of people are going to need to hear this. All right, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube, and also comment. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at TonyGumbo21. Alright, well I hope you enjoy uh, as always YouTube. I'm gonna do a new um, going to do a new ending thing or ending quote. As always, YouTube, thanks for watching. Stay classy.